I will show you how to make the sun rays like this. It's not a circle, but a bit like an oval, an oval rays like this. What we are going to do is, we are going to make the ray like this. We will make two of them, and then we will transform. We use the effect transform to turn it around. One this way, and the other one we will turn it around this way. So it will make a kind of circle like this. Okay. First, we will make a radius. The size is important, so uh, we will use the rectangle tool, alternate click, and then we specify width. We need six, and then height. We need 30, and we click OK. We need a black field, but no stroke. OK, enter. I will use the magnifier, make it a little bit bigger. And then we use the white arrow tool click here and then shift click here and press S for scale tool and drag a little bit to make a radius what we need is just one one point in the middle so we go to object path add anchor point we have one here already I use the white arrow tool click here and then drag a little bit that's it next we need the gradient tool windows gradient and this one should be white is okay already and this one we need red so just double click and click red in the middle we need some kind of yellow okay we click here let me click here yellow enter we need a radial okay adjust it a little bit using radial tool here and move over just like this that's it uh, control A so that we select all of them uh, it goes to edit copy edit paste in place okay close this one make sure that we have two of them like this we will lock down one first uh, I will lock this and then we will turn this around Go to Effect, Distort, Transform. For the scale, horizontal scale, we need 120. And anchor is uh, 20.65, 20.65. And we need 9 copies and uh, the rotation point is here now the numbers here depends on the size of this radius so if you have different size from this you can just try changing these numbers and see uh, what will happen we click preview see and then ok this one is too big I will press ctrl minus and then uh, space drag ok next I will lock this one and then unlock this one and uh, select it we go to effect transform 
everything should be the same except for the anchor here it should be the opposite way so we put minus in front of it and then preview that's it okay now if we don't like the end of the ray we we can adjust it a little bit okay uh, this one is selected already so first we have to expand it we go to object and then expand appearance and now they are ready to be modified so we need the white arrow tool we click here and then click here and then we just drag inside a little bit see that Just like this. Uh, this is too much. Okay. And then we lock down this one. We select this one. And then object, expand, appearance. Now the white arrow tool is selected. We just clicked somewhere outside here and then we click and then adjust a little bit just like that and there we have it okay have fun